Yo, what is up, YouTube? Back with another video. Today, I'm going to be comparing my record predictions from March of 2020 to the end of the season. So, I'm a Steelers fan. I think it is appropriate to start with the AFC North. So, here's a picture. I have a whole thing that I made from March. Uh, and here's the AFC North. I'll reveal the other ones later. So, as you can see, here are every prediction, every um, orange thing is the game I thought they were going to lose. So, as you can see, I had the Steelers at 13-3. and three. They finished the season 12-4. and four. Definitely couldn't have finished 13-3 if they beat the Browns, but they benched their starters. I had them losing at the Titans, at the Ravens, and at the Cowboys. Um, surprisingly, I had them beating the Bills for some reason. Uh, they lost to the Bengals. That was embarrassing. And besides that, you know, I think this was a pretty good prediction. Also, the Ravens at 12 and 4, they finished the season 11 and 5. Have them losing, you know, the typical games. Uh, they didn't lose this game, but they did lose to the Patriots and the Steelers twice. So this was a pretty good prediction because nobody thought, nobody except me, thought the Steelers were going to finish with a better record than the Ravens, and they did. We also got the Browns 6-10. and 10. This is my worst prediction of all of them. Probably in the whole thing, actually debatable. But, you know, I, I don't like the Browns, and I definitely use that bias with this prediction. Uh, they finished the season 11-5. Good job. And this was just really bad, as you can see. And the Bengals at 4-12. and 12, This was also pretty solid. Um... They finished the season 4, 11, and 1. So I want to take a victory with that one. So, next we got the AFC East. Boom. We got the Bills in first place. That was correct. 9 and 7. That's embarrassing. Not going to lie. They went 13 3. But 9 and 7 is what they, what I predicted them to be. It's pretty bad. Also, the Patriots at 8 and 8. This was a pretty good prediction because they finished the season seven and nine um we also have the jets at seven and nine that was bad as you know they finished the season with two wins very embarrassing all their defense sat out i believe and opted out the season and sam darnold's injury just a horrible team the whole year well i mean yeah that's it and then the dolphins this was a bad prediction nobody thought the dolphins were gonna go 10 and 6 but they did very good job by the dolphins so next we have the AFC South. Start one team at a time. Got the Titans at 12 and 4. That was a pretty good prediction by me. I had them in first place with 12 and 4. They went 11 and 5. Had them losing to the Packers. Uh, I didn't have them losing to the Browns. And that's it. So but these games were wrong, first of all. But still, 12 and 4, 11 and 5. What's the difference, right? Next, we had the Texans. I had them at 9-7. and seven. They disappointed us this year. I believe the Texans finished the season with four or five wins. This is embarrassing. I believe, yeah, they went 4-12. and 12. Very embarrassing. You know, that's it. So, and here is debatably my worst pick on the whole thing. The Colts at 4-12. and 12. They finished the season 11-5. and five. And, yeah, so this is just embarrassing. I thought the Colts were going to be really bad. I don't know why. I honestly don't know why. And we have a pretty decent one. Jaguars 0-16. They finished the season, of course, 1-15. So, that was good. Then we got the AFC West. We got the Chiefs at 16 now. They went 14-2. They lost against the Chargers Week 17 and the Raiders at home. This team definitely had the potential to go 16-0. But pretty decent prediction by me. Next, we got the Broncos. Embarrassing. They finished the season, you know, 5-11, and 11, I believe. I had them at 8-8. Eight and eight. They truly wasted their potential um, injuries, I believe. Von Miller uh, drew lock in the beginning of the season. Week 2, injury against the Steelers. Still embarrassing by the Broncos. Next, we got the Raiders. 7-9. And of course, the Raiders finished the season 8-8, eight and eight, so this was pretty solid. And then once again, a bad one. 
Chargers 1 and 15. Finish the season 7 and 9. This and the Colts, those were really bad. So, something to note I got all the division winners correct. And nobody else did except me, of course. And wild card, wild card five, which would be the Ravens. Look at that. They got wild card five. So my first five, you know, playoff teams were correct. Look at that. And my wild card teams would have been the Patriots and the Texans. But you already know, got both those wrong. So let's go to the NFC North. Boom. I thought the Vikings were actually going to win the division with that 10 and 6 record. Um, I don't know why. Their offense played decently, even though they lost their head court, uh, offensive coordinator, Kevin Stefanski. Their defense, though, was just absolutely blismal. Like, come on. It was horrible. I thought the Packers were overrated last season, had them at 10 and 6, and actually losing the division by a tiebreaker with the Vikings somehow. But, you know, Viking Packers 13 and 3, pretty good team. They got first seed. I was wrong by three games here. The Vikings, I forgot to tell you what their record was. The Vikings finished the season 7 and 9. Embarrassing. Next, we got the Bears 6 and 10. This was two games off from their 8 and 8 record. They made the playoffs. Um, some of these games were pretty close. You know, they started the season like 5 and 1 and then finished 8 and 8. So, Bears, pretty decent prediction there. Lions, also a pretty decent prediction because they finished the season with a 5 and 11 record. So, those are all the games. Let's go to the NFC East. This division, you know, nobody can say they got correct. Nobody said, nobody thought, you know, that Cowboys were going to, you know, Dak Prescott was going to get here. Nobody thought the Eagles were going to play bad. You can just look at this. You know, the Cowboys, they finished the season 7-9. and 9-7 nine. Nine and was my prediction. It's actually pretty close. But the Eagles absolutely embarrass me. You know, 8-8, eight and eight, no, they go 4-11-1. This says Redskins, but it should say Washington football team. Like I said, I made this in March. Um, Washington football team, and this is the picture, so I can't edit it. But still, they went 7-9, and nine, and I predicted them to go 4-12, and 12, whatever. Giants 2 and 14. They went 6 and 10. So this is my worst division so far. But we always got a redemption. Next to my best prediction. The NFC South. Boom. So I had the Buccaneers at 12 and 4. And you know, some of these games I forgot to mark incorrect, but Buccaneers at 12 and 4. Pretty solid. Uh, they lost to the Saints. Lost some embarrassing ones, but this was a pretty good prediction because they finished the season 11 and 5. Next, we have the Saints. Boom, 13 and 3. One game off from 13 3, they went 12 and 4. This was a good prediction. And my favorite prediction of all of them this one. Boom, 5 and 11. Um, why is it this is my favorite? First of all, the Falcons finished with a worse record than 5-11, 4-12. Um, When I made my prediction video on the Falcons, all the Falcons fans were really, really mad. Really mad. Uh, I was getting, like, hate comments. That was probably my most disliked video on the channel. And the Falcons fans thought they were going to make the playoffs. But who was correct? Of course, I was. And then another... Really good prediction. Panthers at 4 and 12. Finish the season 5 and 11. This, every game, every team in the NFC South, I was one, you know, one game off. So, this is my best division so far. Got the NFC West. You can just look at this. I thought the Seahawks were going to go 14 and 2, have that amazing season. You know, they had some disappointing losses to the Giants, some other random team, but this was decent. Seahawks. 14-2, they went 12-4. and 49ers, of course, nobody thought their whole entire roster was going to get injured, but they did. So, they went 6-10, and 10, finished. I thought they were going to go 12-4. And, and my Rams and Cardinals picks were dead on. The Rams finished the season 10-6, Cardinals finished the season 8-8. Eight and eight. So, you know, that was pretty decent by me, not going to lie. I took a 
long time making these videos. I need to show you the entire thing now. As you can see, it is a photo and here are all the predictions. So, um, I take pride in the NFC South, the AFC North, got basically both of those correct and the correct order of division uh, winner, except for, you know, Falcons, Panthers. But I got every division winner correct in the AFC. And I got the Seahawks and the Saints winning division. The Buccaneers at fifth seed got that correct. Nobody thought that uh, Washington football team was going to win the NFC East. I got the NFC North wrong. But overall, pretty solid prediction by me. Not going to lie. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Adios.